Hi everybody, Jade from MNR Counselors. Um, we actually have a saying here that says, um, never waste a crisis. A crisis often means opportunity. I mean, we didn't ask for the crisis. We definitely didn't want it, but now that it's here, how do we survive it? But not only survive it, how do we thrive afterwards? And so um, this is really an opportunity now for us to look back at what life before lockdown was like and assess what was working and maybe what wasn't. I know for a lot, a theme that seems to come up a lot is pace, pace of life, being frenetic, exhausted all the time. And so it made me think about David Alkind, and he writes about the hurried child, the hurried family, and how we sacrifice love when we are hurried, busy, distracted, frenetic. You only have to think about trying to get the kids to school on time and maybe you're running a little bit late that morning and it's often not a very loving atmosphere. Um, and so when we are hurried, love is often sacrificed. And so it made me also look at what David Alkine talks about, the three elements, the three things that we need in order to live a full and happy life. And that is play, work and love. And the best results are when those three are combined. And actually, we can't actually learn completely outside of ourselves. There has to be an element of me. There has to be something of me in, when, in learning. And even when you think about how children learn, children learn best when they play. We need play, we need work, and we need love. That's when the best results occur. And so when I'm working, what of myself do I bring to work? Whether I'm at a factory, behind a conveyor belt, uh, behind a desk, behind a teller, um, in a surgery, out on a farm. What of myself do I bring to work? And usually that might even be that fun element. That might be the play. That might be what you bring. And so my friends don't love me for what I do. Simon Sinek says this. My friends don't love me for what I do. They love me for who I am. And so again, this is a lovely opportunity to ask that question. What makes me me? And so those three elements of work, play, and love, they're most beautifully reflected when that artist creates something. He creates that painting because it reflects part of his individuality. It reflects something of who he is, his passion, but it also reflects something of the outside world. And so when there is something personal and there is something public, when there is something that serves myself and there's something that serves others, that's really that sweet spot. And so as you look to see what you want your life to be like post lockdown, maybe these are some of the elements that you can ask yourself. What of my past life was not working? And what do I want my future life to look like? Those three elements, work, play, and love. How do I combine those? And if these are questions that are perhaps um, sparking an interest or are resonating with you, then get in touch with us and maybe speak to one of the counsellors and you can really start to explore and map out what it is that you want for yourself. Have a great day.